Let us discuss about digital tachometer. What is the tachometer? Tachometer used to measure the speed of any object, of a motor. What is the speed it is running? That is measured by tachometer. Now, olden days we are using analog type tachometers, that is electromechanical type tachometers. But we are nowadays we are using digital tachometer. How a digital tachometer works? That will be discussed in this session. Electrical tachometers uses electromechanical methods, not maximum. Measurement of angular velocity or satisfactory up to 1000 or 10,000 RPM. By using analog type or electromechanical type, the tachometers, if you use 10,000 RPM, you can get easily accurate value. But more than 10,000 RPM, then digital tachometer measures accurately. The measurement of angular speed may be made with the tachometer either mechanical or electrical type. Electrical tachometers are basic tachometers which use to measure the speed. DC tachometers and AC tacho generators. DC tacho generator and AC tacho generator. The above are the two types of electromagnetic type tacho generators or called tacho generator. DC and AC tacho generators. How DC tacho generator works? It is similar to DC generator. It is similar to DC generator. Whatever be the speed if you want to measure this connecting knob this uh, probe is connected to the rotating part after that some voltage will be generated the pmmc voltmeter measures the unknown volt voltage what way normally dc tacho generators are similar to dc generator if you want to measure the speed of any object which is rotating this this part will be connected to the speed object Thus, according to the speed of the object, a DC voltage will be generated. That DC voltage is measured by using PMMC voltmeter. But whatever be the speed we measured, that is the voltmeter shows the speed, not the voltage. According to the speed, the voltmeter generates more voltage. That is the speed will be measured by using DC tacho generators. Coming to brushes are using, that is the disadvantage, DC tacho generator. Coming to AC tacho generators, AC tacho generators are AC generators. The digital method, how a speed can be measured by using digital tachometer. One of the methods, there are so many methods used to digital methods. The biggest advantage of digital method is there is no direct physical contact. Without any physical contact with the object, whatever be the motor or machine, whatever it is rotating. Without any physical contact, we can measure the speed, the shaft speed. The no load is imposed on the shaft while measuring the digital methods are two types. One is photoelectric type and induction type. Two types of digital tachometers are there. Photoelectric type tachometer or tacho generator it is. Photoelectric type it is. If we are providing one light source, light sensor, one light source we are providing. That is light source and light sensor. For the shaft, we connected one like a holes are there that is a electric counter type it is to measure the speed of any object we are connecting to the shaft a holes disk number of holes are provided on one disk why we are connecting this disk is light sources be provided at one side another side the receiver light ray sensor it is connected when it rotated a light will be reached to source, light source will be reached to sensor and how many times the light source reached to sensor it will be counted. That is the light source is suppose if the rotor is shaft is rotating then it also rotate the disc having holes that also rotate. But the holes are when light source is on the light will be traveled to reach the light sensor. How many times the light sensor it reached? The light source is fixed at one side of the disk. The light sensor senses the light source and light falling on the sensor produces an output pulse. Number of pulses will be counted according to that. If the number of pulses are less, the speed is will be less. That means the light sensor receives number of pulses will be less. You can see when the speed of motor or machine is very slow, the number of times the disc rotate is very low. Number of holes is connected. 
light source a light source and light sensor received very low number of pulses will be generated for each time the light source received to light sensor produces a pulse the number of pulses are will be less will be produced when the speed of the shaft is low the freak like that photo electrode type tacho generator works and tooth rotor type tacho generator another one is tooth rotor type tacho generator it is similar to encoder encoder whatever be the speed if you want to measure for that shaft we connected a two teeth number of tooth like that teeth it is known as teeth it is known as teeth again an encoder will be connected number of count pulses will be counted when it reach to the teeth is reach to it is a magnet type when teeth reached a pulse will be generated that is electronic counter will be counts number of pulses that means for shaft it is connected a a tooth rotor type it is number of times teeth or tooth is connected to is comes to this position then if if it it measures that is it is encoder type encoder wheel we are connecting for this type of shafts mostly this type of shafts we are using in industries to measure continuously the speed measure monitoring is required for some areas if this what is this sensor it is a light sensor or sensor it is when teeth came to this position it will generate on pulse how many times the number of tooths are coming for this position then the electronic counter counts the digital display like that digital tachometer works tooth rotor type tachometer you can see digital tachometer how it works the basic block diagram generator gate generator it is revolution pickup it is how many pulses are generated by using sensor light sensor or tooth rotor sensor we are using if the motor speed is very high number of pulses will be increased gate generator number of pulses will be counted after that it displayed the speed that is the digital tachometer this technique employs measuring the speed of rotating shaft is similar to technique used in conventional frequency counter except that selection of the gate period is according to with the rpm calibration let, let us assume that rpm rotating shaft is or the p number of pulses are produced by the pickup by the pickup means then uh, the light sensor gives the output or speed sensor give the output number of pulses that is pickup in one minute number of pulses from pickup is into r into p where is r is the speed of the shaft p is the number of pulses r into p then the frequency of the signal is pickup is rp by 60 if the gate period is g then pulses counter are pulses counted are r into p into g by 60 in order to get direct reading in rpm the number of pulses to be counted by counter in r so we can get the period as 60 by p the counter gives r pulses and we read the rpm directly by making the relation between gate period and number of pulses produced by pickup is g is 60 by p this is the block diagram of a digital tachometer simply number of pulses will be generated that pulses will be counted after that it displays the speed that is digital tachometer there is no direct contact with the meter we are connecting only toothed wheel or light sensors or some days sometimes laser technique also we are using the laser technique the laser light will be fallen on the rotating object after that pulses will be generated according to the speed then counter displays that is the principle of digital tachometer